Richard, firstly, thank you ever so much for your time. Really do appreciate you sparing some of your precious time today to talk to us about your involvement with Martech um, over the years and our 30 year anniversary in April. I've got a few questions I'd like to ask. Firstly, Richard, how did you get introduced to Martech and do you remember when that was? Oh, that's going back quite a lot of years, Craig, in fairness. I'm thinking probably when I was a general manager back at Edgware, which we're now going back over 10 years, I think. Yes, we are over 10 years. Um, and it was based on uh, contact with you, but also um, recommendation and and also the fact I remember back in all those years ago the way you pitched and presented the content um it impressed me at the time and and it was definitely one to to follow up and uh, and we did and, and and obviously over the years run various pieces of training with you and with your support and um without a shadow of a doubt it was the right decision so um in terms of some of the first projects then, Richard, when we first got together, you mentioned Edgeware. I think, just thinking back at that time, can you remember what that program was to do with telephone inquiries? I think mostly analysing those and working the sales team. What kind of impact did that have to the business at the time? Yeah, I think um, it was, uh, there was definitely uh, telephone training. We did quite a bit of work on that. I think we, um, thinking back, we probably did some um, customer handling training as well with uh, service advisors. I mean, looking back, I mean, I think the, the one thing that stands out for me with the training that we did is you always used to present to me, as you describe it, burst training and then follow up. And in truth, I always used to look at the follow up and think, oh, do I really need all that? But the reality is that's where the effectiveness came is. And, and, and actually what it created was a more ownership, I think, from you to us, more partnership between the two of us. Um, and what we set in play was the great burst training, which might be a half day session with the team. But then that frequency of follow up visit, probably for at least three months following with one on one training with the uh, delegates, with the team. There's no doubt for me that um, we saw improvement in performance off the back of that training style that you you and your team delivered. Um, I always think it was well received by the delegates as well. I think uh, you've always, I'm trying to think back, worked with various trainers, but they've always got a, a, a strong track record, a strong history of doing the doing. And of course, as you know, particularly with sales advisors, that's really important for credibility and, um, and that sort of respect. Um, and that always sort of came to bear. And I think um, as a result, um, we saw positive results in, whether it was service or sales training, and certainly over the years, both at Edgware and I think uh, ongoing into West London when I was there, we've done we've done pieces there, and of course, on a, on a bigger regional basis, uh, telephone training, um, particularly in our Midlands region, done quite a bit of telephone training there, and I think the results are always positive. I think not only the results on the individuals, but you often surface maybe things that we're not quite seeing.